back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, also, I want to say go ahead and make sure you subscribe. And as you can tell by the video, um, this will be um, how I wore my hair to Navy Boot Camp. And if I was going this year or in future years, how I would wear it now that I have the knowledge. You know, once you know something, you're like, damn, shoulda, coulda, woulda. So I figured I'd post this video now to help um, future women that are like struggling and debating like, how should I wear my hair before I go? This video is for you. It's going to be very short. So let's jump right into it. So before we get started, I'm just going to post a picture of how I wore my hair to boot camp. This picture is from MEPS. I'm going to go ahead and insert it here. Do not come for me. I look a hot mess, but... And your hair is uneven. You look dusty. Yeah. I just did not know how to wear my hair. Um, I looked up other YouTube videos, as I'm sure you all did. That's probably how you found this video. Maybe, maybe not. But um, yeah, I just didn't know how to wear my hair, how to wear my hair, and still be in regs and all that um, stuff. So I wore some straight backs, aka gel braids, aka Cleo set it off braids. Like I just, I just was like, I'm gonna just keep it simple and wear some straight backs, and I looked a mess. But it was fine because with me personally, um, as a non-swimmer, which that's gonna be in a different video, I had to take my swim test. A number of times so I was at the pool sometimes you know two three times a week and if I was gonna wear my hair like this which I do not recommend um, it would have just not worked um, just a little side note my hair is natural is not relaxed this is a silk press on any other day I have um, very natural coarse 4c hair and I'm very proud of it but I got my hair done today so that's another reason why i made this video but anyway so on to how i would wear my hair to boot camp i would suggest to avoid um any type of um hairstyle that would normally require heat simply because you do not have access to a blow dryer nor a um, hair straightener hair curler none of that no um nor do you have time to even do anything like that even if we did have um like a hair straightener, you don't have time to do anything like that. So that is out. I simply suggest um, protective hairstyles. Um, I am specifically speaking to um, my women of color. Um, braids are probably the best way to go. Um, even if you do the knotless braids, just make sure that it's your basic part. Um, no triangle part, no zigzag parts, um, nothing that is considered faddish. Um, like a fad, stylish, cool, nothing like that. Um, just keep it, just keep it simple. Keep it very basic. Um, and as far as the length, I wouldn't go too crazy because it needs to fit in an appropriate size bun. And um, you don't want the hair too bulky. So don't put 20 packs of Kanekalon hair in your head because you need to be able to properly fit your cover on. So those are just some things to keep in mind. Another hairstyle I would have done would be a wig. Um, I just wasn't thinking. I just didn't, you know, know if I was going to be able to do that. But um, there were girls I saw that had wigs. The other hairstyle I would recommend would be a sew-in. Um, I would be mindful that if you have any type of leave out, you're not going to be able to straighten it like you normally would. So a closure would be your best bet if, because mind you, boot camp is like eight or nine weeks and now with COVID, I, I don't know how long it is um, because you all have the ROM. But just keep in mind that new growth and that frontal lifting. Um, so I would make sure I know how to braid, how to properly install and uninstall that closure and keep it looking fresh. Towards the end of boot camp, I got some fresh braids installed um, and I put my wig on. And again, that, that would have been the best route for me. I have no shame in taking it off and taking it, putting it back on type of thing. But I didn't get it. My sister shipped it to me like a couple days before graduation. So I had just enough time and it was a bob. So I had just enough time to cut it, make sure it wasn't like... Um, you know make, make sure it was within regs and it wasn't like touching my collar or anything like that and 
like yeah i just had just enough time to do that and like pluck the um pluck my part and like kind of get my knots because i couldn't bleach them or anything but um i got it looking right right enough for graduation i'll post a picture right here but yeah just a little short little video if y'all have any questions i'm gonna um make sure i insert video or excuse me i'm gonna make sure i have pictures to explain the types of hairstyle that i personally um would recommend if i was going to boot camp if i can do it all over again wigs box braids knotless braids or a sew-in if you know how to and again preferably with a frontal just keep in mind like with me i had to keep doing my swim so that chlorine and that water in my hair was really like was really messing my hair up and i have 4c hair so i really couldn't do a proper wash and go that's how i would wear my hair um if y'all have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comment box below um i will make sure to upload more videos y'all let me know what you want to see i'll post other content not just military related um and i will see you all next time bye